Shalom and welcome to Hebrew with Maim. This week's parsha is Teruma, which means heave offering or offering. And it's found in Exodus chapter 25, verse 1 through 2719. We'll be reviewing just the first three verses in Hebrew. <coughs> I'd like to read the English first. <coughs> Excuse me. It says, <coughs> Exodus chapter 25, verse 1 through 3. The Lord spoke to Moses, saying, Speak to the children of Israel and have them take from me an offering from every person whose heart inspires him to generosity. You shall take my offering, and this is the offering that you shall take from them, gold, silver, and copper. Of course, it goes on, but we're just going to stop there. And I just wanted to um, share a little thought from Rabbi Nachman that I came across. It says, he says, in order to be charitable, a person must open his heart. Once his heart is open to give to others, it can also receive blessings and bounty from the supernal heart of, no, of the Noam Ha'elion, the divine pleasantness. That's from Likutei Moharan, um, the second, page 71. Rabbi Nachman explains that when one opens his heart to charity and kindness, he enables his open heart to receive ever greater blessings from on high, from the supernal heart. So when we are kind to others, Hashem, it allows Hashem to be kind to us. It's a beautiful thought. Okay, here is the first verse. Um, the first part of the class will be um, going through the letters and um, the and, and definitions, and then the second part will go through the trope. Okay, so here we have a vav with a patach, which says va, and we have a yud with a shava, and typically in the middle of a word, especially after the shava follows a letter with the patach. This is the patach. This, the Shiva is silent. So this Yud will go with this Va. So we're going to say Vai, Vai. Okay. This is a Dalid. And so, and this is a, another Patak, which says A. Ah, so this is Da. So this is Vai, Da. And this is a Bet with its Sere. It said it says E. And this is a Resh, which says, makes the R sound. And of course, the Bet makes a B sound because it has a belly button. Without the belly button, it makes a V. V sound. So this together will say ber, vai da ber, and this is this is a trope mark. It's um, it's gonna give us the melody and the accent mark. So the accent for vai da ber is on the last syllable. Okay, vai da ber, and vai da ber means and he spoke. Okay, and it is perfect tense. It's in the past spoke. Um, Without this reversive vav here, it would be yidaber, and it would mean um, he will speak. But the vav right here flips the tense, and it becomes perfect tense instead of imperfect tense. So vaidaber means, and he spoke. So yidaber is, is he will speak, vaidaber is, and he spoke. Okay. And of course, this aleph just indicates this is the first verse. Um, Verse Aleph. This is um, the sacred name, Yod He Vav He, and um, we just say Adonai when we come across this. In Judaism, we do not pronounce it. And um, so, Vaidaber Adonai. So, this means together, it means Hashem or Adonai spoke. Okay? And this is an Aleph with a Segol, which says E, and a Lamed together. This will be one syllable which says El. El, and this means two, two, um, and like T-O. <laughs> this is a mem, and this is a shin, and this uh, dot above the shin makes us know that it is a shin, but also this serves as the, as the cholem, the vowel for the mem. Because the mem doesn't have any other vowel underneath it, this will function um, doubly, to be the marker for the shin and also the cholem for the mem. Cholem says o, oh, o, oh, like a kind of like an o sound. Okay, o. Oh, so this is mo, mo, 
And this is a shin, of course, with a sugol, just like over here. So it says e, eh, and this he is silent at the end of the word. So um, this is she. So mo she, mo she. And this is the um, mecha trope mark again. It tells us that the accent is on the last syllable, so it's not mo she, it's mo she. That's the correct way to pronounce it in Hebrew, mo she. And mo she, of course, is the Hebrew name, the original name from Moses. We say Moses in English, mo she is the original name in Hebrew. So El Moshe to Moses, Vaidaber Adonai Hashem spoke El Moshe to Moses. Okay, and this is a lamed with its sere, so it says e, eh, and um, with the lamed it will say le, and this aleph is going to be silent. It'll be together with the lamed and its sere, so this together says le, and this is a mem with a cholem. and a resh. The cholem is the same as this cholem over here. It says o, oh, so this is more, more, le more, and this um this vertical line is um is the is the accent mark um because this 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 trope mark this the sof pasuk always goes at the end of the verse at the after the very last letter so if um so sometimes there's a an extra accent mark so that you know where the where the accent of the word should be. Um, so this is le mor, the accent is on mor, on the last syllable. And this is the infinitive of the verb um, to say. So, so this, is, this means to say, or it can also be translated as saying. Okay, So Hashem spoke to Moses saying, or to say. Okay, if anyone has joined me um, in the class, let me see if anyone has joined. You can let me see oh, Amanda. We've got Amanda here. Amanda, would you like to practice that that verse? Saying that verse, maybe unmute yourself. You don't have to. No pressure. Hi. <laughs> How Hi. are you? Good. Thank you. <laughs> oh, okay. I just like I saw your link and I was like, oh, let me see what you're doing. Okay. So. <laughs> Um, I'm making my video. I did, I did, yeah, I see that. Mm -hmm. <laughs> uh, de, de, uh, Adonai mm -hmm. El Moshe Le Mor. Good. Do you remember what that what that means? Um, Hashem spoke to Moshe uh, to say mm -hmm. or say. Mm -hmm. All right. So you already knew this, or did you just learn it right now when I was talking? <laughs> I'm following along with you. I'm a fast. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> All right. Okay. Good. And uh, here's the next verse. <clears throat> okay. So um, this this is uh, verse bet, second verse. Um, now this is the same as right here. This is vaida ber. The only difference is it doesn't have the vi. It just it's just the bear. Okay, so I won't go over that. That's the bear. Um, and 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 that is a command form. Speak. Okay, speak. And this is um, the same as right here. L. Okay, um, which means two. Right. So the bear L. And <clears throat> this is a bet with a shiva, which says b, and this is a nun with a tzere, and the yud together with it, which says ne, bene. And um, ben means um, son, and bene means sons, plural of. Um, sons would just be my banim, but when you say uh, sons of, it's bene. So this is plural, and it has uh, like a possessive uh, quality to it sons of, or you could translate it as children of, of course. El bene. Um, so, okay. I don't know if I went over that letter by letter. This is, this is a bet with a shiva which says be. This is a nun with a tzere, and the yud together will say ne. Bene. Bene. And this is the um, accent mark, so you know that the accent is on the last syllable. Bene. So, to the children. Speak to the children of... And this is a yud with a chirik, which says yi, and together with the um, sin here, this is a sin, and the shiva is going to, going to be silent, so we're going to say yis, yis. 
and this is a ratio the commands so we'll say ra and this is an aleph with its serif which is a and this is a lamed which is l so l and the accent is on the last syllable this this katona right here is the accent mark so this is israel um and of course this is israel and um as i've said in other videos before you have you want to make sure that there's a separation between ra and L, it's not it's not Israel, it's Israel, and there's because we say that Aleph is silent, but really it's not silent. It's there's a guttural stop to it. So like when you say the word uh oh, you have, you there's a stop between uh and oh. You don't go uh oh, you know it doesn't slur into one, it doesn't slur together. Oh, it's uh oh. So this is the same thing here. It's Israel, and that would be more um, correct in Hebrew. Uh, in, the, in the Hebrew tongue, Israel. Okay, and then we have uh, <coughs> a vav right here uh, with a shiva. Again, this is a v, and this a yud with a chirik, which says yi. And this is a kuf, um, and this is um, this is a shiva. And this is going to be silent here too. So together we'll say yik, yik, va, um, um, and this is a a chet, um, <coughs> and the vav with the with the dot through it says u. So this is chu, vayik chu, vayik chu. Um, okay, and this is, um, and they will bring. Okay, it's translated as they will bring. Um, it's actually it's actually perfect tense. Uh, like past tense, but in context that wouldn't make sense. So we we, it's it's always translated as they will bring that that they will bring. Okay, um, okay. This is a lamed with a chirik, and then the yud uh, to, together will say li, and this means to me. The l part means to, and the e part means me. Okay, so that they so that they will bring to me. Vaikhu li. And this is a tav with a shiva, which says te. This is a resh with a vav in the dot um, in the middle. It says u. So this is te ru. And this is a mem with a kamatz. And the, the he is silent, so we'll just say ma. Te ru ma. But the accent is on the last syllable, te ma. And te ru ma is what our Torah portion is, is named after. It's named after this word. So this means um, offering, okay, that they bring to me an, an offering. Um, okay, I'm not sure why it's translated as heave offering sometimes, but you could also say contribution, an offering or a, t or a contribution. Um, so, oh, that's teruma, okay. And this is a mem with a tsere, which says e, so this is me, and this is a um, an aleph with a tsere, which is e again, me e, and this is a tav which goes with this aleph, so it's et, me et. And um, it, it it just means from okay they should, that they shall that they shall bring to me f an offering from meet et is a direct object pointer and the me means from and this is a kaf with a kamatz and this is a lamed now in modern Hebrew we pronounce this as ah but anciently the kamatz was an a ah, kind of like uh, a w Ah, like ah, ah, ah. <laughs> so for certain words, that sound is preserved. So we don't say kal when we encounter this word. We say kol, and it means all or every or each, depending on the context. So this we, we say kol here. Kol means, um, here it means each, each, or you could say every actually too, kol. And this is an aleph with a chirik, and the yud together will say e. And then this is a shin, so it'll be ish. Ish ish means man. Isha is woman. Ish is man. So each man. And this is an aleph with um, a patach, which says a. Ah. You can ignore the shiva. This is a chatef patach. You can just ignore that. It's supposed to be like a reduced patach. So it's said very quickly. This is a. Ah. And this is a shin with a sagol. And then the reish, you can ignore this trot mark. This sagol says e, so this is asher, asher, asher. This means that which or who. Um, and 
I guess we could translate this as who. Yes, who. So talking about the man. Every man who. Um, okay, and then this one is a yud and a hirik. It says ye. And this is a dalid with um, the shiva, which says d. Yid, yid. Sorry. No, that's wrong. No, it's right. <laughs> it's right. Yid. De, yeah, not de. I'm not, I'm not sure what I said before. It's like ye de, ye de. And this is a vet with a sigol, which says e, ye de ve. And this is a nun with a vav with a dot in the middle, dot through it, so it says u, ye de ve nu. And the accent mark is this right here, so we know that the accent mark is in this middle syllable, ye de ve nu, ye de ve nu. And um, this means... Volu he volu he volunteers or um, he does something willingly okay so um, and then we have this lamed with a hirik and it says li and a bet um, with this vav and the dot over it says o so this is bo li bo li bo and this means um, his heart lev is a single heart, libo, this vav um, suffix means his, his heart, libo, his heart. So that's what, that's who, what is willing. Okay, so every man whose heart is willing, okay, who's, who his heart is willing. Okay, that's, we would translate it a little bit differently, the order in, in English. Okay. And then, hmm, I'm going to have to make this go a little bit up to see it better. Okay, let's try that. Okay, and here's the, the last, last line. Um, it, uh, this is a tav with a chirik, which says T, and this is a kuf. So, um, we're not going to to pronounce this shava again. Usually, it's in the middle of a word. It's not. It's not pronounced. So we'll say tik, tik, and um, and this is a a a chet, and this vav again with a dot through it says u. So chu tik chu, and um, it means you shall take. Okay, and it's it's related to this one to. Um, this is um, they will bring, and this is tikehu. You shall take. Um, okay. Uh, this is actually plural. This is like y'all shall take. <laughs> y'all shall take tikehu, and this is an, the et again. I think we already we already said that earlier. Et. Um, this is just a direct, direct object pointer, and this is a tav. Uh, with a shava. Oh, okay. Well, this is very similar to this word. Here. This is the word teruma. This is teruma, and then we have this added suffix at the end. Okay. Instead of the he, we have a tav and a yud. And this tav has a chirik, which says e, and that's and it, it's all together with this yud. So it's t. Teruma t. Teruma t. Um, teruma again means offering teruma ti means my offering and this the presence of the yud right here at the end means my just like over here where it says vaik li um which means uh that uh, and they will bring to me again here the e makes it me this also is my teruma ti my offering they shall bring to me teruma ti makes it my offering instead of just offering all righty. And um, Amanda, would you would you like to try that if you're still around? Okay, I'll try. Um, deber el bene. Let me say that right. Yeah, bene. Mm -hmm. Israel, 
Yeast, 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 make like not yeast, but yeast, like as if there was a Y in the beginning. Israel, Israel, um, be ik who be huli, good, be ik huli, yeah, it's kind of hard, but yeah, good, yeah, um, te. Teruma mm -hmm. me et kol ish asher id id ye say ye yid no yid. Okay, we're gonna we're gonna per, we're gonna pronounce this 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 shava. So yid 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 ve. Venu. Good. Venu. Ye de venu. And now uh, we, we pronounce it this time because the Dalit has a um has a Dagesh. So this is to, to pronounce the Shiva. Ye de venu. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um Libo. Uh -huh. His heart. Tikhu. Mm-hmm. Tihu el. Or et actually et. Oh et, thank you. <laughs> et and then um te room mati. Good, okay, great. Do you remember what this do you remember what it all means or that's too much? Uh okay, let me try. I mean I don't yeah. all of it let's see from the beginning. The mm -hmm. speak um el I don't remember what L means actually, but I remember you saying um, Bene is like sons of. Mm -hmm. Or children of. Mm -hmm. Right. Uh, so what would be L? Oh, two. Just two. Oh, two. Okay. Mm -hmm. um, Israel. Mm -hmm. um, Israel. Mm -hmm. And then um, Beihuli. Uh, mm -hmm. I don't know. I don't remember that one. I'm sorry. Yeah, it's okay. That that and that they bring to me. That they, they bring, to bring to me. Yeah. Or okay. take to me. Take to me. You can say that too. Teruma is offering. Mm -hmm. Um, meet. Oh, it's escaping me. Just from from. From okay mm -hmm. from meet. Call. Um. Oh, I know you just said it too. Mm -hmm. Ish is man. Ish is man. Kol, you know, kol nidre. <coughs> yeah. Yes. Means. That means all. All. Yes. Okay. Very common. You'll encounter that a lot. All. I know. I or all each. Or every. <laughs> <laughs> but to ask me if I remember all the meanings of it. Yeah, that's where I'm at right now. I was trying to figure out what it all means when I read it. Uh -huh. um, oh, okay. Thank you. Or each and or every. All each or every. Every. Okay, every man. Mm -hmm. um, asher. Mm -hmm. I think you said which. Mm -hmm. That's another very common one. It means that, which, or who. And in this context, I would say probably who. We would say who. <laughs> Who, that which, or who for Asher, okay? Um, ye de venu, ye de um, ye de venu. I don't know. Does that okay. that's a little bit hard? That's uh, um, he volunteers, he volunteers, mm -hmm. um. Lebo, which is funny when you were saying this one, I thought it meant like to come <laughs> because le, I don't know, I thought it was like two and then, uh, oh, bo, yeah, yeah, and then bo come, but I, I read that wrong. You're like, no, it's like my heart. What did you uh -huh. say? Yeah, that, that, that bo is, um, it's with an aleph, not a vav. Ah, uh, okay, yeah. okay, yeah, that makes sense. Um, but what does it mean, uh, heart? Oh what yeah, you... yeah. Lev is heart. Mm -hmm. um, Libo is his heart. His heart. Yeah, okay. So every man who's who his heart 
um, volunteers or yeah, vol volunteers it. Really, <laughs> volunteers it. <laughs> okay. Uh, Tihu. Mm -hmm. And that's that, a sorry. That's you shall take. You shall take. Y'all okay. should take. It's actually plural. Okay. Y'all shall take. <laughs> mm -hmm. All right. At um, Terumati. Good, Terumati. And that one is my offering? Yes, my offering. Right. Yeah. Okay. Awesome. Yeah. Okay. Thank you. Okay. Next is the third verse, last verse, Gimel. This is a Vav with a Shiva. And it's going to say V again. And this, the V means and. Okay. And this is a, a, a common uh, word right here. This is a Zain, which makes a Z sound. And the Aleph with the Cholem says O. And this is a Tav. So this is one syllable. It says Zot. Vezot. Um, like Vezot HaTorah. It means and this. Okay. Vezot and this. And this is a hey with a patav, which says ha. And this is a tav. Um, sorry, this is the same word, teruma. Okay, it just has the ha at the beginning. The ha means the. Okay, so, and this is the offering. Vezot ha teruma. It's the same as the teruma in the pre previous verse. And this is again asher. We had that also. Um, and this is, this is the offering, that. And this is, um, we had this too also, I think. Yes, we had this also. So this is again tikechu. Um, that's that that y'all shall take plural. Y'all shall take. Um, okay, this is uh, we didn't have this yet. This is a mem with its set of which is me, and this is this aleph with a chirik says e me e, and um, this is a tav with a kamatz and then the mem sofi together. This kamatz says ah, so this is tam me e tam. Me'itam, and this means from them. The mem, remember, um, I said the prefix mem means from, and itam, the am part lets you know that it's plural, um, third person. <laughs> Me'itam, from them. Okay, then we have the precious metals here. We have the zain with the kamatz, which says za, the he with the kamatz, with the kamatz which says ha. And it closes out with this vet, so hav. Zahav is gold. Okay, and this is the trope mark, so we know that the accent is on the last syllable. Hav. Zahav. This is also the trope, the trope or accent mark here at the end, so it's, the accent is on tam, me tam. And this is zahav. And um, this is a vav with a kamatsu, which says va. And this just means and. It's the same kind of prefix, it just means and, like this v. It doesn't matter what goes under it um uh it just it just changes the 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 vowel under it just changes based on um the per, the the word that follows it. i think it's it's changed for just ease of pronunciation and this is a a half with a sigil so it says this is just an accent or trope mark so we know that the accent is of this word is on and this is a sin with a sigil, and then the face of feet at the end says sef. Um, so this is a face of feet. So this is vachesef. So the accent is on this syllable, vachesef. And this means and silver, vachesef. And then we have um, um, uh, um, a vav. Oh, sorry, this is a vav, but the with the dot through it, it says u. And um, and this is a noon with the Shiva. And let me see. We will we will pronounce the Shiva this time. Um so this is une, une, and this is a um a chet. And this is uh this is the accent mark right here. The trope mark is a sof pasuk, but because this always has to be at the end, again, this is going to tell us the accent mark. And the vowel for this, again, is this, this holim, which is also the marker for the shin, um, because there's no other vowel uh, with the chet, so it's this is going to be its vowel. 
it says o, so this is ho une ho, and this this is a shin with a sugo, which is e, and this is the tav which closes it out for shet. Une ho shet. Um now remember the accent is on ho or under this chet. So une ho shet. And so this is bronze. This means bronze. Um sometimes it's translated as copper though, so une ho shet. Okay. So would you like to try that third verse? Yes, my kids walked in, so if you don't um, mind noisy. Okay. Oh, <laughs> noisy. Okay. Um Bezot Pateruma Asher Mi Mitam. Me i tam. And uh, let's see. Zahav, Zahav, Vechesef, Vechesef. Actually, sorry, Va, Vachesef. Vachesef, thank you. Vachesef. Um, un, un choshet. Mm, we'll pronounce this one. It's un choshet. Okay, great. And do you remember what these mean? Uh, let's see. Vezot, uh, mm -hmm. I don't remember what it means. It means um, and this. Zot is and this feminine. Mm -hmm. And this the offering. Yes, and so there's an implied is right, and this is the offering. Uh huh. And this offering. Okay. Uh, I shared that. Mm -hmm. uh, who? I'm sorry. Tiku. Uh -huh. uh -huh. Remember that. From from is it the last when? the last verse okay, yeah. verb verb this is offering that <coughs> y'all will <laughs> oh that's right um you will like y'all will take yeah that you take, will take. Uh -huh. that you will take okay mm -hmm. um me. Me itam. Mm -hmm. uh, don't recall. I'm so sorry. Okay. Sh uh, the mem is from. And from is itam. them. Them is that. Okay. Is that you said? Is that? Me, me itam. Sorry, I don't understand that question. Um. What did it mean? You said mem is. Oh, from them. Uh, mem from. the. The me is from, and okay. is them. That you shot so that you all will take from them. Make it from it. them. Okay, mem is from them. Um, zahav. Zahav. Uh huh. Zahav. Remember what what that means? No, because that's when my kids walked in at the end here, so they kind of okay, took okay. away from what you were saying a little you know, bit. You know that so these are precious metals. Okay. <laughs> precious metals. You know, Yerushalayim shall zahav, the song. Jerusalem of... I don't know. <laughs> okay. um, <laughs> the most precious metal, I guess, in the Bible. <laughs> I never thought about it. Gold? <laughs> yeah, gold. <laughs> zahav, gold. And then it's just in okay. order of preciousness here. So uh, I see. Zahab, Zahab is gold. Uh huh. Zahab. I don't know. I think I heard the last one was copper or no bronze. Yeah, copper or bronze. This is silver. Bahesef. Silver? Okay. And in modern Hebrew, this is how you say money also. Kesef. Kesef. Okay. Okay. Good to know. Kesef? Yeah. Well, here it's Kesef, but it's the same word. But in I modern see. Hebrew, Okay, so gold, silver, and bronze. Yeah, nechoshet is bronze. Very good. Nechoshet. Okay. Awesome. Thank you. Uh -huh. Okay, say hi to your kids for me. <laughs>
She said hi. <laughs> okay, I'm going to do my trope next, so I don't know if you want to stay for that. So I'll listen in. Don't okay. ask me to do it. I don't know okay. anything about that. <laughs> okay, <laughs> bye. <laughs> okay, now we're going to do the trope for the three verses. And again, we're doing teruma, uh, which means offering or contribution. Sometimes it's translated as heave offering. Um, and it's found, this Torah portion is found in Exodus 25, 1 to 27, 19. Okay, and I'm going to just read the English again. For this verse, it says, The Lord spoke to Moses, saying, Speak to the children of Israel and have them take for me an offering from every person whose heart inspires him to generosity. That's very interpretive there, not so literal. You shall take my offering, and this is the offering that you shall take from them, gold, silver, and copper. That's Exodus 25, verses 1 through 3. We're just going to do the first three verses. I just wanted to review the cantillation marks. Um, I have a video um, that does it uh, slowly. I'm just going to do it real quick. Okay, this is good to review if you're learning how to trope. It's good to review this um, and memorize this. Okay, so this is Kadma Munach Zarka Munach Sego Munach Munach Revi Mapak Pashta Zakef Katon Zakef Gado Merchati Pha Munach at Nachta Paze Telisha Ketana Telisha Gedula Kadma Vesla Azla Geresh Gershaim Darga Tevir Yetiv Pasik Sof Pasuk. And these are these ones right here on the bottom are very rare. I think this one shows up maybe like three times in the whole entire Torah. It goes, Shashelet Karne Para Mercha Kefula Yerach Ben Yomo. Okay. Hey. So now um, I'll just read the Hebrew real quick. Vaydaber Adonai al Moshe Lemor, which means, and Hashem spoke to Moses saying, okay, and um, now I'm going to do the trout marks only. We have a mercha right here. Tipcha, um, mercha, and sof pasuk. So just troping the trope marks, it goes like this. Mercha tibcha, mercha sof pasuk. Okay, so the first trope mark is mercha. Um, so since this is vaydaber, vaydaber troped with mercha is vaydaber, mercha, vaydaber. Okay, so this is Tibcha, and of course, this is we'll say Adonai here for this word. So, Tibcha, Adonai, Tibcha, Adonai. And then here, this is again another Mercha, Mercha, and this this trope mark is going to take two words. So, this is El Moshe, Mercha, El Moshe. Okay. And this is a sof pasuk. So this is lemor. <coughs> okay. So the whole verse troped will be vaydaber Adonai el Moshe lemor. Okay, that one was pretty easy. If you wanna, you can always pause and practice that. Okay. And okay, here's the next verse, which is um. Harder. <laughs> okay, this is. Um, I'll just read first. The Ber al Bnei Israel vaychuli teruma meet kol ish asher yidvenu libo. I have to wait for this thing to disappear. Okay, I won't point because it'll <laughs> block it. So the bottom is tikhu et terumati. Okay, so um, speak to the children of Israel. Um, 
and they will take for me an offering um, from every man a share that Yidavenu, um his heart uh, wills it. <laughs> Actually, Yidavenu Libo is his heart wills it, his heart is willing. Um, uh, Tikichu, y'all will take et terumati, my offering. Okay, so now I'm going to do the trout marks. Okay, first line. Um, and I won't point over here because it gets cut off when I point. So I, I'll only point a little bit. <laughs> okay, so this is the bit. Sorry, no, I'm just going to do the trout marks for now. Okay. Pashta munach katon tipha et nachta ma pach pashta munach katon no sorry munach munach katon so there's two munachs here okay and I won't point on the last line but it says tipha sof pasuk Okay, so the first one is Pashta. So this is Daber. Daber with Pashta says Daber. So Pashta Daber. And this is Munach. So Elbene says Elbene Munach Elbene. And this is um. Katon. So this is Yisrael, Yisrael, Katon. This is a Tibcha. So it'll take these two words. So Tibcha, Vaikhuli, Tibcha, Vaikhuli. And this is Ednachta. So this is Teruma. Et nachta teruma, and this is ma pach. So this is meet ma pach meet. Okay, and then we have um, pashta. So this is ko ish pashta ko ish, and this there's. This is a monach. Munach. This is Asher. Munach. Asher. And this is Munach Katon. Sorry, let me just do this one right here. Munach Yidivenu. Munach Yidivenu. And this is Katon. So this is Libo Katon. Libo. And then the last line. Um, Tikechu has Tibcha. So that's Tikechu. Tibcha. Tikechu. And then the last um, two words have Sof Pasuk. So that's Eterumati. Sof Pasuk. Eterumati. Okay, now this, I wanted to also say that, I, I don't, okay, this is just one clause. This this verse right here, though, has several clauses. This is, this katon is a separator. So this, this, this group of words right here makes one clause. It's like one thought. You might even, sometimes that means that you can put a, a comma there after a clause. Okay, this is a this is a separator. The sof pasuk. This is um, a separator. The et nachta. So this is another clause, um, and then this is all together, and this is the end of that one clause. And of course, the sof pasuk is the hardest pause or separator, which it just so this this these last three words are another clause, and at the end of a sof pasuk, you can usually put a period. Not always, maybe just a comma, depending on. Sometimes if it's just saying like, um, and the Lord spoke to Moshe, saying, and there's a sof pasuk, you wouldn't put a comma, but I mean you wouldn't put a period, maybe just a comma, but um, the sof pasuk does indicate just the end of a verse. Okay, so that so. 
Daber el b'nei Israel is one clause, which means speak to the children of Israel. Okay, you can kind of it kind of makes sense to put a pause there to breathe there. You're not supposed to breathe in between um, clauses unless there's a soft separator. Sometimes there's a soft separator. The bed is kind of, the pashta is kind of a soft separator, but munach is definitely definitely a connector. So you should definitely shouldn't shouldn't um, breathe between b'nei Yisrael because this is a connector and this is a separator. One day I'll have a video with a chart of which ones are the separators and connectors, but <laughs> not today. Okay, so um, you want to say this as if it were one thought or one sentence, okay? So this is da da ber el Yisrael. Okay, then you can breathe, okay? And then this is the second um, separator, strong separator. So um, this is speak to the children of Israel. This is um, they will take for me an offering, okay? That's another thought, okay? So you can see how the, the chart marks give you um, some grammar. It helps you to know which words are connected so that so you know which words form an idea within the verse, okay? So, vaychuli teruma. So this is vaychuli teruma. And they will take for me an offering. And then the next clause ends here. So this this is all together. So this is from each man that um, his heart wills it. This is his heart, Libo. His heart wills wills it. Okay. Um, so met ko ish Excuse me. And this is sorry. Let me do that again. But this is a kind. This is a soft separator. So you can. It's not the end of a. It's not a clause in and of itself. But you can breathe here. So met ko ish asher yedvenu libo. So this is that right. So this is the end of the clause. So let's do it again. Met ko ish asher yedvenu libo. Okay. And then the last line is Tihu um, et So you can take a breath here if you need to. Um, this is a soft separator. Okay. So now let's. I'll do that last part again. Then I'll do the whole thing. So Tihu et So from the beginning. Daber el b'nei Yisrael vayichu, sorry, vayichu li teruma me'et ko ish asher yidvenu libo tikichu et terumati. Okay. So if you were going up to read from a kosher Torah school, you would have to Memorize this and learn this so well that you wouldn't need any vowel points or trope marks. And the last verse, here's the first clause right here. So I'll, I'll do the trope marks. This is um, Pashta Katon. So this is Vezot Hateruma. Okay. And this is the offering. And this is Merch. So Merchati pcha. So this is, oh, and this is the this is the end of that clause. So these three words. Um, so this is merchati pcha et nachta. So this is asheti kru meitam. So merchati pcha et nachta. So this is asheti kru meitam. And this is the last part of that. This is the last clause in the verse. And it goes, Merchati pcha sof pasuk. So this is, Zahav vachesef unechoshet. So that's, Merchati pcha sof pasuk. So that's, Zahav vachesef unechoshet. I'll do the whole thing again. So this goes. Vezot hateruma asher tikhu meitam zahava chesef unechoshet. All right, now I'll just do all three verses together now. 
and three is the minimum that you're that a, re a Torah reader is supposed to to read from the Torah scroll if they make aliyah. So. <clears throat> Vaidaber Adonai el Moshe le Mor, Daber el Bene Israel, Vaikuli Terma, Met Kol Ish, Asher Yidivenu Libo, Tiku Eterumati. Sorry, I messed up the end there. Vezot Hateruma Ashetiku Meitam Zahava Hesef Unehoshet. All right. What's the end of the class? Thanks for learning Hebrew with me. And um, if you would are interested in Hebrew classes for children or adults, um, you can contact me. And I have a Facebook group there that you can join. And also YouTube channel you can subscribe to and watch the rest of my videos. Okay, thank you. And have a Shabbat Shalom.